four, three, two, one. Mr. Maxwell. Yes, sir. You know what? We got a lot of bones. Two hundred six of them, actually. Really? I want you tonight for to name them all. Okay, give them all a name. And make sure you have two hundred and six. I don't have time for this. Okay. I'm busy. Hey, you know what? The Kermit the Frog has in common with this guy? The Rainbow Connection? No. They're made up of skeletons. Okay? I... Here's a skeleton of a frog. The parts you don't eat. Very important. And, the, of course, here are the skeletons of a human being. The point being, multicellular organisms, that's us, we're not unicellular, need specialized structures and systems to perform basic life functions. Now we have several of these systems in our body. Right now we're going to focus on the skeletal system. And the skeletal system is important because it provides five uh, vital uh, services for us. What's the first thing it does? So the first you? one is it gives shape and provides support for the body. So like a mustard incorporated when that globby guy is walking on the street. All of a sudden he has the sewer grate, boom. His body stuff down, he's left with his eyeballs, his hat, and his briefcase. He had a bad day. So we know that that's a human being because of the skeleton. We know that these creatures, the skeleton, the skulls, must have come from something like a dog-like creature. <clears throat> second part is that, or second um, service, so it protects internal organs. It's like the sternum, the ribs, protect my heart, cranium, protects the brain. Okay, you know, I have the different bones in my face. Yes, sir. <clears throat> the, the cranium gives protection for the eyeball, gives protection for the nose, even our ears. We often call this our ears. Our ears are not these. Our ears are inside our skull, the cranium, and it gives protection. The third is that enables movement. Without bones, we wouldn't move. It would just be a, essentially a big sack of skin and some different internal organs. We wouldn't be able to move anywhere. Foreign blood cells. The long bones of the body form blood cells. What's an example of a long bone? So we have the humerus. You know, that's why it's connected to the funny bone there. Okay, and your arm, femur, and the leg, the long bones, produce blood cells, white blood cells, red blood cells. It's in the bone marrow. And then another one, you know, calcium, strong bones, stores minerals such as calcium and phosphorus, amongst other materials as well. So that's why we have to drink plenty of milk to get calcium. That's why we have to eat a lot of breads because that's a great source of phosphorus. And so to wrap it up, it gives shape and provides support. The skeletal system does. It protects internal organs. It enables movement. It forms blood cells. It stores minerals such as calcium and phosphorus. With that in mind, what would be the answer to the question, what would we look like if we had no skeletal system?